Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? We got Hachiman here, the new god, uh, new Japanese ADC, and he looks really interesting. I'm not quite sure how I feel about him yet. He's got some awkward shit about him. His ult looks extremely awkward to me, the way that it just, like, fires off. Uh, he gets on the horse and does all this shit just to fire off a single shot. Like, it feels weird to me. It's just strange, but um, I believe. I believe in Hachiman. I want him to be good. But I don't want him to be broken in duel. I really hope he's not broken in duel. I will cry my freaking eyes out. I'll go with Sprint to start, I think, just to be safe. Against on her, uh, helps a lot to get the Sprint. You can either go that or Shell. Um, or you can, of course, go into the... Uh... Uh, the my preferred choice. The Horrific Emblem. So this is a, uh, a custom game, I'll be real with you guys. Uh, today ranked has not been uh, like available at all, you just can't do it. Oh, that two actually does quite a little bit of damage to the wave. That's crazy. So that's awkward too though, it's like that's his clear, but it's also his uh, steroid. Wow, that is quick, I like it. While he's standing in the circle, he gets even more attack speed, but while he's outside of it, he still gets it. Um, so when he puts that down, he gets an attack speed buff and a little bit of power buff, I believe. Yeah, and um, he gets more of that. Let me make sure I have that right. The attack speed, leaving banner, this ally, blah blah, 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 Oh, it just does damage. I'm sorry. No, no, attack, no power buff. Now, these babies do damage while uh, they do more damage the closer you are to the target, which is also weird. I feel like he's such an awkward ADC because why would you want to have your most powerful attacks be melee attacks? Or practically melee attacks. But that's how they wanted to do it because he's supposed to be a samurai, you know, who uses both his sword and his bow. So they want to be like kind of short, uh, kind of close range and long range. Now his three uh, stuns if you can hit with the uh, the line and the circle. His clear um, is is kind of lackluster. It looks like it's nothing to you know write home about. The ult is difficult to control. This is my first game of him, by the way. So uh, yeah, if I <laughs> botch the ult terribly. Ooh. I don't know how much damage the ult does at all. Oh! God damn! Oh my god, he missed! Hachiman! <laughs> wow. He had no mana, so he's really trying to position himself there, and the creeps were kind of caught up in the whole mix, and he just really unfortunately blew that one. So that ult uh, actually did a decent amount of damage. I guess let's go with Warrior Tabby for now. Just feel it out. The one can crit, by the way. If you're if only if you build into crit though, it's like it just means that it counts as a regular basic attack. So you kinda gotta group the wave up like Chiron to hit it. And even then it's not that powerful. So that's a little disappointing, but you know, he. a lot of people were saying he's definitely a late game uh, hunter. And it's always awkward to engage like this as a hunter, you know? Like, that's almost never an okay thing to do. Those shots did quite a bit, the one. I only hit two of them and yet it still did a lot there. It takes a while for that thing to come out of the sky too. Initial analysis for now, I'm getting away with a lot here, um, just because of uh, my opponent being a little bit, uh, uh, either a little bit nervous or just, you know, uh, having uh, quite a few flubs. I think that he's really not a great hunter for duel, it looks like, but who knows, as he progresses, maybe he does become quite busted in the late game. We'll have to see. Keep an open mind. But he is fun. I like the way that his uh, dash works a lot. That's really cool and pretty innovative. Even if it is not optimal for a, a hunter. And it is interesting to have this uh, 
this passive come down, um, or this passive attack speed thing come down. That if he stands in it, he gets more attack speed. Um, and while he's outside of it, he still gets a buff, but just not uh, as much. While your teammates receive no buff unless they're in it. What's the difference between standing in it and uh, standing outside of it? Damaging all enemies, grinding himself attack speed, maybe better. Which buffs to send? Uh, attack speed. In range. Oh, oh, is his the same? Either way, his attack speed? I thought that when they released him, they said that it wasn't. Oh, they said he only gets a fraction of it. Cool. Nice. Alright. That was pretty cool. It's really nice to have that CC immunity like that. And the fact that he's, he gets really quick movement with it is nice. Yeah, the three would be a lot cooler if it was on an assassin, for sure. That's why it's really awkward. But he's like, he's an assassin ADC, which is weird. Or at least they tried to make him into that. Okay, 15% automatically he gets, and then 30% uh, if he's standing in it. Thank you. Yeah, sorry for, uh, you know, not knowing all of this. You guys trying to just go through it as I go along. Even if I, I tried to read the abilities before it, and even so, I messed it up. I don't know how with this one. This one I don't see. I feel like they should have made it clearer, you know? No, <laughs> that's good burst. It's really hard to hit both parts of that on like a, you know, a knowledgeable target who knows what you're looking for. This attack speed. Yeah, so it'll be super hard to box into him like this. Like you just can't. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I didn't level anything. Alright, you guys are real mad at me. I didn't even use that ability, so it doesn't matter. It, it did 138 for all those shots. And I moved back a little bit, so I guess there's just like two different... Oh, 55 and beyond 55, okay. Yeah, so 55 units and beyond 55 units has uh, two different damages there. It's not like it uh, scales as you go backward. But he does seem really fun, and I like him. And I'm, I hope that he's not uh, one of the greatest hunters, because, you know, for me, I like playing the gods that don't get utilized that much and doing a little bit more with them. Right now, the honor is definitely flubbing quite a little bit. I'm not sure if I should be leveling my ult. I guess I should, because it increases both the slow and the damage gets, you know, quite a bit heavier. That is really cool. We're able to follow the jump just like that, because the ult travels so quickly. We'll definitely get another game or two with him. Look at this. We're going to be able to take this tower down real quick. I don't think my one affects towers, though, does it? It's just additional damage, not increased power. So I would not think so. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna like this god, I think. I, I'm probably gonna like this guy a bit. Oh, okay, that was a good response. Wow, it goes really far. Okay, that's why. Holy shit. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. So that's that's something that I completely overlooked. He has incredible range with that with that two. I uh, with that one rather. And that's why it does different damage from a, from up close and afar. The only thing I wish is that they showed where it falls off. There should be a point where it shows you that it's no longer doing as much damage. Right? That'd be cool. I think that would make sense. <laughs> it's hard to hit from that far away, okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that would be nice if they did that. Yeah, you can turn on the ruler and settings, but, like, come on.
Oh, wow. See, I didn't hit him with all of it that time. It's hard to hit with the whole thing. I don't think we'll kill him yet, so I'm not going for it. Oh, my God. That's really cool. Now, right now, obviously, for, for this time, it seemed like... Uh, our white crystal here was not uh, was not fully ready for this one um, for the Hachiman, so I'm definitely gonna do another one as well. But uh, I am optimistic about him, uh, hopefully being a uh, like around middle of the pack hunter. I, I would hope so, but we'll see. I certainly don't think he's gonna be OP, but I could be you know grossly uh, underrating him right now. And I suck with that one. Oh shit. Strategically, now would be time to regroup. But yeah, the way that I've uh, taken to him, I have not taken uh, to any of the new gods in this way in a very, very long time. Uh, so that's a really good sign for me because I have just not been enjoying them that much and I was afraid that I haven't been really liking uh, You know just like new smite stuff that much in the way that they were going with the game because it seems like everything's so overcomplicated to me There's too much like too many There's like three passives for every god now and then all of their abilities have crazy ass passives and like you can't even understand What's going on anymore without having to read a you know a paragraph for each ability it pisses me off. I just don't have the patience for it. You know me. I like reading too. I'm an English major. It was an English major, but I just, you know, when I'm playing my smite, I'd rather it just be intuitive and like, you know, just be natural. So that's just me though. Some some people definitely, you know, think about it differently, and I understand that for sure. This doesn't go through walls, right? Haha, <laughs> got him. I like the sound on that three a lot. That's really cool. Whoops. Does this even do damage? No, I don't think it did any damage. I couldn't though. Alright, hopefully we take this down real quick. Yeah, great at taking down objectives for sure. He can attack the Titan while outside of aggro range, um, but only if you already have, you know, it's only going to do damage if you already have creeps there. Yeah, I'm hoping he's going to be at, like, Apollo Jingwei level. Which means, you know, still incredibly obnoxious for over half the cast. Oh, shit, that was a good feeling. We scrapping? Those shots, man, they do a lot. Yeah, you can cancel the one, yeah. And it goes on cooldown. One will stay up for as long as you, uh... Uh, for as long as you keep it up, it looks like. Of all the abilities, the one really feels awkward to me. Even more awkward than the, the horse coming up just for that one shot. Suck. Dropping on him. Ah! Hachiman! I've got to get back. That's my boy. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like a worse Rama one, I agree. It's strange. But it goes further. Slightly further, but it's I don't know, it's weird. It feels awkward. I mean, that's the only thing I haven't really been making great use of, too. It hits more than one person? Does it really? Then why does it stop on creeps? Oh, you meant the ult hits more than one person, yes. The only thing I do like about passives, um, that, you know, I'll retract a little bit of what I said before. Uh, that I do like when the passives are tied to the god's kits. And in that sense, I don't think they did a great job with Hachiman. That's done. Um, so yeah, his passive, uh, it doesn't really, like... You know, it doesn't do anything cool for his character. Like, I like when they're, they are they can still be simple, but do something cool for their character and, like, actually tie in. Just MP5 is a little, uh... Yeah. Yeah, a little bland of a passive, for sure. But other than that, like I said, I think overall he seems pretty cool. I give this god a... Seven out of ten. Solid seven out of ten.